Today marks two years since a devastating fatal house fire in Flora. The home was engulfed in flames while a mother and her four daughters were still inside. The mother was the only one to make it out alive. And News 18's Kira Lake is live in Flora this morning. What can you tell us about this investigation, Kira? Sam and Trevor, this is the home behind me on East Columbia Street where that tragedy struck. Now, even though the mother, Galen Rose, chose to move outside of Flora after the fire, there are some family members that chose to stay behind and help Rose seek justice. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of just like be quiet, you know, because um, we feel like our girls was uh, left behind in a lot of situations. On November 21st, 2016, this home on East Columbia Street in Flora was engulfed in flames. Keone, Kiara, Cariel, and Kiana didn't make it out of the home alive. Only their mother, Galen Rose. It's tough for me to have to hear her cry all the time and not knowing what to say to ease the pain because none of us will ever know the pain that she goes through. They were Jacqueline Parlow's great nieces. She says this investigation is frustrating. There's nothing we can do about it, you know. We're not detectives and everything, so we have to trust and believe that they're going to do the best that they can to help my nieces. The Indiana State Fire Marshal's office ruled the fire was intentionally set. This announcement was followed by several officials involved in this ongoing investigation resigning. Now, Indiana State Police First Sergeant Jerry Holman says ISP is the lead investigative agency in this case. But I think what the community wants to know is, are we still actively pursuing the persons responsible for this? And yes, we are. He says ISP has two detectives assigned to this investigation full time. And yes, we do have solid persons of interest in this case. But he also believes there are people withholding information. It's very frustrating for the family, very frustrating for the community of Flora, and very frustrating for us. Holman says people need to overcome their fear. And know that we will help them remain anonymous if they have information that will help us put the people behind bars that are responsible for this horrible crime. There's more than $25,000 in reward money to help find the person responsible. You know, I just pray that the person that did do it have a conscience, you know, and if they don't have a conscience, I hope it runs them crazy. After the fire, she says she no longer comes to Flora often, even though people she loves are still there. But at the same time, just to hang out, no. It's painful to stand right here. It's painful to see that thing that says my niece's name's on it where we don't know what happened to them. It's painful to look at that house and say they died there. You know, that, that's some painful stuff. So coming through here is painful. For the memorial, Parlo hopes at least a few people come out and remember the little girls. She's not hoping for a crowd, but would appreciate a turnout. But as for family and friends... You know, we're going to be here regardless. I know I will. If I have to stand out here by myself and let those balloons go, I will stand out here by myself to support my nieces. Because I know God has them. So if they watch it, They'll know my Aunt Jackie, she stuck to what she said. Well, anyone with information about this case is asked to call the arson hotline. The number is 1-800-382-4628, and calls can be made anonymously. Now, friends, family, the community is all invited tonight here at Pizza King on East Columbia Street. Now, it's located just across from the street from the house. It's going to be starting at 630. There's going to be food, a time for prayer, and also the night will end with a balloon re releasing to honor those little girls. Reporting live in Flora, Kira Lake, News 18. Powerful interview from Aunt Jackie there. Kira, thank you.